Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, it's Cyber Monday. Now, I don't know about you, but Cyber Monday doesn't quite seem like Cyber Monday. Is it because, oh, all those things that you might have done on Cyber Monday, you already did on Black Friday on the internet. Mm. Meanwhile, <laughs> yeah, I've heard of people having problems on the computers. I guess there's too many people. Or maybe the computers are still on vacation. Hmm. Meanwhile, at the box office, oh, Breaking Dawn is still breaking records. Hello. Mm. And Hugo did a crash. Well, meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Oh. I know we're actually making this one longer today because why? No, because uh, actually uh, I did find out what happened. The battery malfunctioned yesterday. Oh, is that what happened? Well, so sometimes when you see us do a double dose, it's because it's, yeah. something like that happens. We did it. We did it. Well, we did it. But she's looking at it recording. The problem was there was a battery malfunction, and I didn't notice it until I started to download the material, and the battery was dead. Ah. Oh. So, and Barney Frank is calling it quits. Oh uh, yeah, because Barney Frank knows that it, they, okay, the they're not going to win the house back. That was as big an indicator right there that they're not going to win the house is when a guy that just thirsts for power. Says, you know, I think I've, you know, 30 years is enough. No, he'd been there for the next 30 years if he knew he was going to get the chairmanship back again. That's true, and he has gotten a lot of flack, not only from his state. Yeah, no, what happened was they redistricted him out of his own district, too, and put him into a more Republican district than it was before. Oh, they did? Because they don't like him. They, they blame him the, for the Dog Frank bill, which is screwed up. Okay, you know the reason why you can't buy a house today? Why? Dog Frank. The reason why you have a problem buying merchandise in stores on credit, Dodd Frank. The reason why the, the house is underwater because of Barney Frank and his chairmanship. Oh, now we want to sit there and look at what exactly happened. Well, he's blaming it on the Republicans. And Wall Street Journal, Facebook is targeting April to June of 2012 for their IPO. I know, it was right after the first of the year. April is not right after the first year. It's January, February, March. That's basically second quarter. the second quarter, which means they're already backpedaling. Well, I'm going to try to put it very simple. Nobody is going to pay $100 billion in an IPO for any company out there, folks, especially one that got as many problems as Facebook has. Facebook basically loses most of its people in the United States. It's not, it doesn't hold them here. It holds them around the world, but it has a massive turnover in this country, and there's not any real way. Okay, they're planning to do movies off. We were actually we were at a we were at a function with a woman at Digital Hollywood. She's talking about how Facebook is going into movies now. That you got it like a, a Hulu. Only problem is that those services aren't working well. And you know, like yesterday, actually today, Disney Company basically. Uh, is at war with Google, who they signed an agreement with to uh, release their videos on the YouTube system. Ah. They said they're not going. You're not. You're not going to rent our movies for 99 cents. It doesn't make any difference. Google was making up the difference. The, they were going to say the movie would generally rent for a buck 99 on Apple. Well, they were still going to charge the same buck 99, but the people were only going to pay a dollar. And Did Disney like, get that part? No, they didn't quite get the message. And now Google, I think that Google has basically said "f you" to the Disney company. <laughs> so, which means they're going to, they, they think they're going to sue Disney for breach of promise, which has never happened with the Disney Corporation. Oh! Yeah, they had a signed contract. They knew that the movies were going to be undersold in order to get people to come get it's called hook. They got to hook them with ninety nine. While they're still, while they're making up the loss, you know, you know, but Disney didn't quite get that memo. Mm. And Corazon refuses to testify over MS Global deals and Democrats fighting to keep it from happening. Well, because this guy is a, he's a big Democratic donor. He also knows about a lot of secrets that they don't want out from the Democratic Party. This guy was a senator. Okay, when he was with the Goldman Sachs, he was a lousy uh, uh, he was a, he basically he was good at bond trading and he was a lousy risk management person. Then he became a United States senator and basically he helped to cause all of the financial problems. Then he became the governor of the state of New Jersey and busted the state of New Jersey and they keep putting him in. and then they moved over to MS Global founded by a lot of 
millionaires and billionaires in the Democratic Party, but that's where they all are. And he basically invested in countries' bonds, and then Obama sent him down the toilet. So you think that this guy, if he gets a sworn testimony, this guy's going to say, uh, yeah, the President of the United States told me to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why they're not going to let they're going to keep him from testifying. Mm -hmm. They've already told him. If he does, if he is, if they do force him, he has to take the Fifth Amendment on everything, including his own name. And America's first Muslim president, Obama, in the Muslim outreach program, working well. And dem demonstrators burn an effigy of Barack Obama and set fire to flags. I know we don't. This is everybody knows Rex. Rex wash. Rex comes from a Republican family and worships the ground that Obama walks on. I want to hear that the Muslim outreach isn't working. There's a problem, folks. Obama <laughs> wants the Muslims to accept him even though he has a Caucasian mother who was raised as a Christian and won't be, will not accept the Muslim religion. If his mother accepts the Muslim religion, well then they'll accept her, but they won't accept him because they don't accept mixed marriage kids. Oh. That does not happen. As far as they're concerned, they're, uh, they're like the Moor. Okay, the, the, the Muslims never accepted the Moors in Spain because they were a mixture of Muslim and Christian families. Mm. Didn't accept them. They were just outcasts, and that's what Obama is. And he's probably the most disliked president in our nation's history with the Muslim world. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. How that shows you know sometimes you know he he wants so much to be accepted that he screwed everything up doing it. Yeah. And Mitt Romney receives a major endorsement from a group that leans left. I know. Uh, I, I, I know, actually, Rex will like this one because they said even though this Latino group basically isn't going to support the president, they have decided that they're going to go with the most liberal Republican candidate that they can find, which is Mitt Romney. They said that he helped bring about health care, he wants to bring about a health care system for the entire country. He thinks the wealthy should pay more taxes. He thinks that, my, you know, the this and that and all of this stuff. So. You know, it's a, it was an endorsement that they said, oh, it will help him win Florida, mm -hmm. but it will cost him the election. Mm -hmm. they, they said that's what they, I mean, heard this morning one of the people you know, said, they said, they can imagine Romney saying, who the was responsible for that endorsement? Mm -hmm. He can't undo that one. Yep. Because they are Republicans, but they're, they're, they're left wing. They are, there are liberal Republicans, and you don't want their support, period, because they're Democrats. So... <laughs> It's the way it works, folks. And Obama has saved our medical care system with Obamacare. And then we have to cover Rex's ears again. They said that Obama had basically, under the under the health care legislation, it forces the uh, the drug companies to reduce their prices by fifty percent. By forcing them to reduce their prices by fifty percent, they're no longer they're no longer creating new product. They're creating they're getting generic product, and product that is not tested by our FDA is being brought in from other countries now to make up the lack of new stuff by our drug companies who are moved who are moving out of the country and producing product in other countries that will pay the price of of a development which Obama will not cover now. Oh really? Brilliant, isn't it? Mm. So healthcare cost goes down but the quality goes down with it. And US Egyptian journalist alleges sexual abuse by police. Uh, it's called, that's what's done in the Muslim world. They think if they, okay, remember the bit we always see in the movies, the Japanese and Asian woman walking behind the husband? In those countries, they kick the asses of their husbands in private. Mm -hmm. in, the, in a Muslim world, the Muslim male kicks the rear end of the, of the Muslim woman in public and private everywhere because the Muslim woman only has one job and that's to uh, provide a family and sex. That's it, folks. They have no life in a Muslim world. Oh, really? That's why, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the French, for instance, look as the, as the women wearing burqas and the veils as, uh, as degrading to women, and they really go after the Muslims for that person. And they, you know, they basically even taking them to the world court saying that they're discriminating against Muslim women's rights. And the world court doesn't side with the Muslims. So. And if it's Monday, retail sales are setting records, home sales are setting records, auto sales are setting records, and people and businesses are rolling in cash. Well, oh, that's why consumer confidence is up in November. Yeah, consumer confidence is just roaring in November. No, it's not. I'm going to tell you, okay, we're going to, we, 
went places Saturday and Sunday that the people that are doing all these surveys didn't go. What happens is the people that did this, we took 25,000 retailers around the United States and they sent us, they told us that foot traffic was up and that sales were up. You realize that you can get 25,000 retailers probably in Los Angeles County alone? In LA County alone, you can get 25,000 retailers. That isn't even, that's not a statistical amount to even you measure for businesses in this country. And what they did was they cherry picked businesses. They knew. They knew that business was going to be up at Walmart, at Kmart. So they, they hit the big businesses and then stuck the little ones in to go along with it. But because we actually went to these businesses Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we know something that those people weren't reporting. Aisles and businesses flooded with merchandise and baskets in, oh, in gosh, push cars was... because there was no longer any room in the storage. To, the people mm -hmm. had basically almost everything that they purchased, they brought back. Just well, cart, lot, yeah. Yeah, cart was brought back. I can't believe how much was, I mean, I've never seen the aisles, aisles like that. Then the places where there used to be things on sale were just carts full of returned merchandise. Full of stuff. And, um, uh, and so, I mean, it wasn't, it's every business that we went into, carts were everywhere. You saw people going, people, wait, people being wasted that should be uh, stocking shelves and are selling stuff, going through carts, trying to sort the carts out. And this stuff is not stuff, okay, this has to go, what happens is they got to take everything off the shelves, move that off the shelves into a back room, Move the stuff that was already been taken out of the you know packing crates. That has to go first mm -hmm. because it's been handled. That must and not handled has to go back into the crates, which means the the total thing is skewed. You're not hearing this on television from people because I, I'm going to tell you that the people doing the business news are either totally incompetent. They they live you know under a cabbage patch or they're in the back pocket of people because well, you know, sales think, are not as good as what they're saying. I think part of it is somebody reports it or they get the information, but they don't actually have the people that are going to the places over and over. Well, I had um, I, I had I was listening to more reasonable older people last night, as most people know. This is actually done the next day because yesterday the battery, we didn't know the battery. It showed, it showed it was taping, it wasn't taping because there wasn't enough battery in it. So much for electronic equipment. But I was listening to the older people. Anybody actually believe that those cells actually happened Friday? Really, you know, I said, I have some really good land in Slovenia that I can give you for virtually nothing. We went shopping on Friday. Yep. And uh, we went shopping on Friday. The people that were buying had got awful a large amounts. The people that weren't buying didn't have anything. And there was more people that weren't buying than there were buying. And you could not have had, there, first of all, there was not enough sales to say uh, $20 billion more this year than last no. year. No. No. There, there's no way. And then they, they, uh, they said yesterday, they expected, uh, they said that Cyber Monday was expected to be down to an all-time low. Because they bought it on Black Friday. Because they bought it on Black Friday. And they were, the sales, we, we saw, we wanted to buy some stuff. Okay, what happened was, uh, you looked at the things that were scheduled to be on the Black, on Cyber Monday ads, they were all out of stock on almost everything. So. Uh, I didn't even bother looking at the ads after that. I did, because after, after we saw out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. And it was Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. And more Americans then not want the health law repeal poll. It didn't make any difference to Obama. Obama figures he wins no matter what. Because if it gets overturned, he's going to go to the left and say, I tried. And the Republican protecting the millionaires and billionaires, which you're going to love this one today, folks. I mean, how, how, how much do the Democrats hate the people that make money in this country? Uh, Obama this morning wants to save Social Security by putting a new tax on millionaires and billionaires. He also is going to pay for his jobs program by putting the new tax on millionaires and billionaires. And he's going to pay for the new un for the unemployment benefits being extended by a new tax on millionaires and billionaires. And he's going to pay for the payroll tax holiday 
by a new tax on millionaires and billionaires. They said any one of those taxes comes to more money than the millionaires and billionaires make in a year. Mm -hmm. But they uh, they said it, it's not. Rama said it's not. He said this morning this is not class warfare. This is paying their fair share. And they said one of the Republicans. I love it. One of the. Uh, you won't like this. One of the leading Democrats in the news business. He's sitting there figuring things. But the neat thing about the uh, all these cabinet stuff, they can set their new calculation. He said, Mr. President. He said, can you tell me how? You can tax the people 230 percent more than they make, and that's not be that's that's not being unfair. He said, "Well, your calculations are wrong." I said, "I got an M, I got an M in mathematics from from West Point. I don't think it's wrong." Okay. He said, "Well, you obviously do not know what you're doing." And then he gives the third question, and the president gives him. Hmm. When he gives you that icy stare, you're screwed. He does not like being challenged, and the Democrats. Okay, you can't tax people 230 percent. No. I mean, you know, we gave the Republicans an opportunity and they decided to help the wealthy versus the poor. They also said, last night, a lot of people were talking about it, his game plan is what I wrote about. Totally. Oh, it is? I wrote about it. It's on, yeah, I wrote about it. We did it on the internet. We wrote about it and we talked about it in one of our editorials. His plan is to be the first truly minority, minority president. He basically says he's abandoning all of the working class people in the country. He's abandoning all the small businesses because he knows he can't get them. He's abandoning all his wealthy friends to help get him in office. And he is abandoning the majority of the black and the Latino vote and going swinging way to the left because that gives him excellent. He basically, if he does like 12, 12 and 12, he wins the election. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need anything else. He needs half of the liberal vote, uh, 10 to 12 percent of the black vote, and 10 to 12 percent of the Latino vote, and he wins the election because, as actually Rex will be very happy, as I predicted, there's going to be an independent party candidate and there's going to be a libertarian candidate. They're both coming from the Republican Party. Which splits up the Republican Party. Which means that the Republicans can't get enough. And they said the nomination of Romney or Gingrich basically both means that the, the, the people, the more moderates than the Republicans do not like Gingrich. And the conservatives, the, the, the evangelist type, don't like Gingrich because the guy, okay, there's no truth to the rumor that he was bopping somebody while his wife was dying from cancer. Um, Even though he did marry some, he did divorce her while she had cancer, and then married somebody else. That no truth to that rumor. Mm. But uh, and and there's no truth to the rumor that he basically stuck it to the United States government as an advisor for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Ah, yeah. In Canada, pipeline firms sprint to the end the U.S. oil flood. And we don't. Want, I know we, we don't want to hear Rex because what happens is is that they have. Uh, Canada has not decided now to abandon the United States and they're going to sell all that oil to the Chinese. The United oh, States what? will pay for the pipe to be ran to Vancouver. Oh. Yeah, Obama was caught. They said, remember, they, okay, now if the United States were going to pay for the pipe, then Obama would probably say, oh, we're going to, we're going to pump, we're going to build a pipe from Canada to go to New Orleans so the oil can be shipped to China. That would have been acceptable because Obama gave billions upon billions of dollars to to Soros mm -hmm. to build uh, the deep sea drilling rigs which were taken out of our gulf to go over there so that we'll be one of your top customers when you get that built on uh, what else was it oh something else the woman did this morning I don't remember what else he did but it's a really a good one uh, it, it's something more another the business like basically oh this one this one's the ultimate what they got another trillion dollars on the national debt that nobody knew was there Oh, they did? Yeah. It turns out that Obama secretly, after he became president of the United States, gave a trillion dollars in loans to uh, banks to keep them afloat. Uh-huh. trillion dollars in loans. And guess what? They said they did it to 24 banks, and guess where the majority of those banks were located? Oh, I can only imagine. In all those countries that have defaulted on all of their things. I can the, only the imagine. Loans are uh, loans are unrecoverable. And there's wanting an, they're wanting a, this, this one. Oh, that is okay, sad. One of that the is Democrats, bad. One of the Democrats wants you to You didn't know, even keep the money here. One of the Democrats basically, like, I'm listening to him, what the F, you know, blah, you know basically, very liberal F, F words, said, uh, 
Who I'm gave him that right to do that? Said that? We're in charge. We were, we're, you know, he has to go through us to do that. No, he didn't. Apparently he, he didn't. didn't. Oh, they said Bernanke approved it. Bernanke and the other gentleman approved the loans. And Obama covered him. Mm. Obama basically has created the biggest theft in the history of this nation. And he, and uh, most of the press is now sort of, you know, a trillion dollars more in debt. And he wants That's to spend more money. money. Gave a trillion dollars yeah, to and 14 you know what? banks. He gave it country. to 14 banks outside of this country where we can't get the money back. And I wonder where that money went. Well, probably in like, like, out like Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was the poorest Roosevelt to... Uh, until in, he left office. Until he left office and he was the richest. How can you be the poorest and leave office as the richest? Mm -hmm. You know, certainly he used his wife's money. Basically, he married his cousin, folks. Eleanor was his cousin. And there was some question about how close a cousin. He used her money and, well, I would, there was no such thing as insider investing. Well, he knew when he was sending stuff to Europe. He knew mm -hmm. planes were, which contracts were going to be awarded. And guess what Eleanor did with her money? Uh-huh. She invested. Uh-huh. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain in the animal kingdom. Okay. Uh, if you check deep enough, you might find that the person is exactly as you thought he was when you elected him. <laughs>